Domain-driven design is an approach to software design that puts focus on the domain or the business that you're dealing with. It uses concepts and boundaries that already exist within that domain to inform the structure or the design of your software. <sighs> that is a lot to unpack. I don't think I can do it realistically in one video. It'll have to be quite a journey. So instead, I'm going to tell you about why you should learn what domain-driven design is. I strongly believe that everyone who is serious about software development should learn what domain-driven design is. And here is why. First, it forces us to learn about the problem that we're dealing with so that we can come up with much better solutions. Because you cannot solve a problem that you don't fully understand. For example, if I'm building software for a restaurant to manage orders and stuff, I first need to learn and understand how the restaurant functions right now, what people are involved in what processes, how information flows, and so on. If I don't understand these things, I will not be able to build a solution that fits into the domain of this restaurant. Second, it minimizes ambiguity between developers and domain experts. One of the primary concepts within the umbrella of domain-driven design is the ubiquitous language. This is the language that is developed when developers and domain experts collaborate as a way to ease communication between everyone. The word ubiquitous in the ubiquitous language means that this language should be present everywhere, from meetings to whiteboarding sessions to models and diagrams, and yes, in your code as well. Third, it offers one of the best ways to break down a complex system into multiple smaller systems. Every architectural pattern that has anything to do with breaking things down, whether that be service-based or vertical slice or microservices or serverless, whatever, they all refer to domain-driven design concepts as a way to discover boundaries between individual systems. Finally, it gives us some tactical tools that we can use to represent complex domain concepts into our code. Once we have developed somewhat of an understanding of the domain, we need to find a way to represent that understanding into our software. DDD provides us with some patterns that we can leverage to do exactly that. So hopefully your interest in domain-driven design has increased by a little bit now. If so, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. You do not want to miss this series.